everybody. Thank you for tuning in to Any Watch Will Do. My name is Ross, and today we're going to discuss a watch that over the years has amassed quite the cult following. With its seemingly limitless dial options and the ability to be easily modded, we're going to see what the Vostok Commandeerski packs in for an under $50 price tag. So sit back, grab a glass of your favorite bourbon or scotch, because remember, when push comes to shove, Any Watch Will Do. Hello everybody and thank you for checking out this installment of Any Watch Will Do. My name is Ross and for the next few minutes I will be your host of the world of indiscriminate watch collecting. Today we're going to check out the Vostok Commandeerski. This is a cool little watch that you can get for a $50 price tag shipped. The only catch is it comes from Russia and could take up to two months to arrive on your doorstep. However, it's become a highly popular watch with both collectors and modding enthusiasts. You can have dial options with everything from stars to tanks to George Bush to Gorbachev to the Pope. Really amazing how many dial options there are out there for this watch. It's also easily moddable even for the beginner. As a matter of fact, we're going to take a look at how this watch comes right out of the package and then we'll see how I wear it on my wrist after I've added a few mods to it. So today, let's see what all the Vostok Commandeerski packs in at this small price point. Before we get started on my wrist, the Casio MTP4500. I picked this watch up for about $60 online. When I got it, I took it off its Casio metal band and threw it on this leather strap that came with my Nautis 200 actually, and it quickly became my favorite all-time quartz watch. It's actually kind of Speedmaster-esque, if you ask me. Really cool little watch. You can pick it up cheap, and it's tough as nails. So let's get into it, and let's see what the Vostok Commandeerski has for us on this edition of Any Watch Will Do. So the Commandeerski arrives in this no-frills packaging here. Very 60s kind of looking box. Russian writing on the side and top, made in Russia here. I have no idea what this says, but yeah, as we open it up, we get our first glimpse of the Commandeerski 81171. That is the model I chose. Um, initial impressions, yeah, that's a nice little watch. Um, interesting band. I will say, uh, you know, all that fun stuff. Uh, underneath here, if we pull this out, underneath the watch, we have all sorts of, well, I shouldn't say all sorts, but we have two little pamphlets that come with the watch. Everything, however, written completely in Russian. So, unfortunately, of very little use to me. To some of you, however, I'm sure it will be of great use. Uh, so let's uh, take the Commandeerski out of the box here and we'll give it a closer look. And here it is in all its glory, the Vostok Commandeerski 811171. That would be the reference number on this particular watch. There are almost an infinite amount of numbers uh, to choose from. Their dials range in all different colors. There's all different imagery on these watches. Uh, they're really cool to collect. Different people. Uh, it's really interesting stuff. So I got this one because I liked the color scheme. I also liked the field watch aesthetic to it. Uh, nothing too fancy on the dial. We're looking at, uh, at uh, you know, made in Russia down at the bottom. I believe that says 17 jewels there just below the hands. Um, you know, the red star at the top. The bezel, unidirectional bezel, it is not super hard to turn if your fingers fit in the little grooves that are supplied. However, uh, you know, again, this is not a dive watch, so bezel pretty much 
just for aesthetic there. Um, this is a manual wind watch without a quick set date. The case is screw down. Uh, however, when you get it out, you have all this play on the crown here. Um, I believe I said case before. I meant to say crown, but you have all this play on the crown. Um, again, you know, manual wind, so that means, you know, it is up to you to keep this watch wound. It does have a very satisfying turn there. Now my watch is wound all the way. Um, the case itself is made of brass that has been plated. I actually scratched this up a little bit when I was taking the bezel off. I know uh, what a crime against nature, but uh, it gives you a little idea of what's underneath. A lot of people will actually take some sandpaper to that to get a brass case finish. Pretty interesting. The strap, nothing to write home about, I'm afraid. Uh, very uncomfortable. I not sure exactly what this is made of, um, but it's not the best strap I have ever seen on a watch. But at a forty to fifty dollar price point, you can't much complain. Um, case back. I like this case back. It's engraved here. Uh, we have the, the eagle uh, holding the uh, the orb and scepter there. Um, some Russian writing. On the back as well. All in all, a nice looking little watch. Um, what we're looking at is a 39 millimeter case with an 18 millimeter lug. So keep in mind this is going to wear a bit small. The movement is a 2414A, excuse me. I've been having trouble saying that all day. A 2414A uh, has 17 stones. Uh, it is a brass case again. The coating is a chrome or titanium nitride. Uh, so again, I am glad we have this stainless steel case back there as that would and I'm not sure how that titanium or chrome nitrite would uh, react against the skin. It does say it has a genuine leather belt. I am surprised. I don't feel like that is leather, but we're going to go with what is listed here. Um, they say they have an average daily rate of minus 20 to plus 60 seconds a day. The average service life of the mechanism is 10 years years so um, you know for forty dollars it is what it is you have some loom on the hands there are little loomed indices around the edge and we are going to actually turn the lights off here and take a look at the loom right now after a quick little flash with the black light here this is what we are left with with the loom on the Vostok Commandeerski 811171. Not bad, I gotta say. Uh, you know, the little loomed indices around the edge there are, are nice, and the loom on the hand is, is pretty sufficient, I gotta say. Don't know exactly how long uh, this will last. Already seems to be starting to fade a bit, but all in all, not a bad watch. Let's take a look at what this watch looks like as I wear it when I put a new strap and a new bezel on it. Be right back. And here is the Commandeerski, a little bit spiced up with a new bezel and a little leather strap that I have put on this. Uh, the bezel admittedly costed me, you know, a good bit considering how much this watch actually costs. I think I paid $20 for the bezel uh, and the insert on eBay. Um, however, it is a really nice bezel, um, and I'm sure the bezel may even be around longer than the watch. Who knows? The strap, nice little leather strap, uh, I actually pulled this off of a Timex. Uh, I am a fan of reusing um, straps. I am 
not afraid to talk about this, but yes, I came off of, excuse me, a Timex Expedition watch. So as you can see, these little watches uh, can be spiced up quite a bit and look pretty cool uh, with a little bit of time and effort put into it. I myself am not a watch modder, and I was able to do this, uh, quite honestly, in about five minutes. It didn't take long. That bezel pops right off, and this one popped right on. There was no trouble at all with that. So if you're into modding watches or have ever thought about it, uh, the Commandeer Ski is a good route to go your first time. So all in all, the Commandeer Ski is a pretty cool little watch. It looks decent on the wrist. Um, and you know, for the price, you really can't beat it. With a minimal amount of time and effort, uh, I was able to uh, turn this into a pretty cool little watch, in my opinion. Again, you can find these on eBay, you can find them on Amazon. The prices are going to range from around $39 all the way up to $50. Most of that includes shipping. Again, they come from Russia and they can take four to six weeks or longer uh, for delivery. So keep that in mind when you are ordering this. Uh, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please hit the like and subscribe. Tune into the next installment where we will be checking out the Aragon Dive Master Professional, a very cool watch. I hope to see you guys next time. Thank you again for watching. And remember, when push comes to shove, any watch will do.